We are going to continue now with another fireside chat about action plans of the WBAF Angel Investment Fund for 2022. It's designed to capitalize on the worldwide growth and entrepreneurial activity and venture financing for startups, scale-ups, and to capitalize on WBAF's extensive network of global investors. So again, moderator, it's my boss, and our panelist is Dr. Nikhil Agwal, Executive Investment Committee member of WBAF Investment Fund. Welcome very much. Please take over. Thank you, dear uh, Christopher. Um, you know, cross-border investments is one of the most difficult uh, way of making investments. What is cross-border investment? Cross-border investment is, I am an angel investor in Turkey. There is a great startup in Singapore. Uh, and I want to invest in this entrepreneur, but I don't have any uh, local uh, investor to cooperate with me. I don't have any angel network uh, who will connect me with local investors because investment is something easy. What is not easy is post-investment activities. It is very difficult for me to uh, contribute to the growth of this startup venture from Istanbul. It is very difficult. It is very difficult to uh, transfer my know-how, uh, also share my network, um, etc. So I need a local co-investor who will also support me and also support local uh, in, uh, local uh, startup. So dear Nikhil, WBF Angel Investment Funds, I think is making a great job uh, on this mission. Uh, I know that you uh, closed a deal with a Spanish startup some months ago, and I'm one of the investors of the fund. I'm not in the uh, committee, et cetera. I uh, thank you very much for supporting all investors uh, like us. And um, when I uh, see the investors list, we have investors from uh, Dubai, from Turkey, and from India, uh, from many countries who are investing in a Spanish startup in Seville. If such kind of a mechanism couldn't be established, it was impossible, at least for me, to invest in a startup in Spain and under these conditions of uh, COVID-19, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. So uh, could you please tell us what are the unique characteristics of the WBF Angel Investment Fund, which is uh, making the investment available for cross-border uh, goals, even under pandemic times? Floor is yours. Thank you very much, Christopher. Many thanks to the Chairman Babras for uh, inviting us. Certainly, you are absolutely right that making a cross-border investment is a challenging task. Given the global opportunities for startups, uh, it is certainly pertinent for investors to invest in uh, uh, some money into the global companies. How you make sure that the investment goes through? Because you may not have a visibility and expertise that what is going on in that particular country. How would you make sure that you bring in people from different parts of the country and contribute uh, to a, as, as an angel investment to that particular company? And third, third challenge is that how do you make sure that the company which is located in different geography, you connect them with different businesses across the world. It's all about the profitability, the valuation, the customer. And one thing which I have learned as a part of WBF, it's an old way of networking that works. So WBF provide a unique opportunity for global investors to invest in any company they want across the world. I have a small presentation with your permission, Chairman. I'll share a very quick presentation. Uh, this will demonstrate that how this opportunity can be taken up by people across the world. So this is a WBF fund which was envisaged in year 2019 and we have hosted our first global fundraising stage in 2020 
where more than 100 startups have participated. Uh, the fund goal is to support the early stage startups around the world. We don't discriminate between any startup by the age, by the race, by the religion, by the geography. Anybody who has a talent, who has the ability to do something different, they are welcome to apply. The uh, aim of the fund is to make a good return on investment for the investors and to create a solid diversified portfolio promising uh, uh, to the startup fund. The fund structure is fairly simple. Uh, we have a global fundraising stage and we, we have seen from the past that we receive approximately 5,000 applications for a global fundraising stage. The selection is quite uh, strong. We just select 50 companies from the GFRS, which is consist of the investor committee. Uh, then another 50 startups are selected from the partner institutes. Like we have types of with investment promotion agencies, incubation centers, banks, in-house entrepreneurship team. And these hundred selected startups, they are invited uh, to a physical location. This, this year, as you know, the GFRS will be happening in Italia and Turkey. Uh, and they have to make a presentation in front of the in investors. It's a great opportunity for the companies to make a presentation in terms of global investors and also the global investors to look at the global companies so that they can know what's going on in other countries. The fund size to start with will be 10 million. Certainly the fund will grow. The reason it is kept 10 million because we will be investing a relatively smaller amount of money in the startup as we are early stage uh, investment fund. Uh, we bring the fund to the table. We bring a global network to the table. And we also bring in an opportunity for a company to grow in different countries. So your unit ticket size is pegged at $10,000 for uh, who are people who are members, senior associate, high commissioners, senior senators, senators or international partner. But whereas a non-BF, WBF investor can also participate in the fund for $25,000. Uh, all the aggregated investor can become the part of WBF Angel Investment Fund. Uh, they can become the part of WBF Investor Committee. Uh, and it's an opportunity for connect with different investors across the world and understand what is going on in, the, in their country. So you can, as a part of WBF Investor Committee, uh, you can uh, uh, serve on a jury, you can uh, join the uh, training courses for free of charge. So a lot of opportunity exists, not only as a part of the investment, but also participating as a community member. We are looking for an uh, investor which can participate in the WPF growth. So we are looking for active investors. We are looking for silent investors and we are looking for institutional investors. Active investors are the, those who can participate as a mentor or as a business connect. Uh, and assist in growing the WBF portfolio companies. Side investors are those who are really busy, but they want to participate in uh, the activities and they can engage by just by paying the uh, investment amount. Institutional investors are the private fund in equity management, wealth management institution, co-investment funds. Uh, and uh, uh, if you are institutional investors, each member is entitled to have one more representative uh, where this will give you a better visibility. And in fact, it's another opportunity, particularly for the institutional investors to participate and see that what is going on across the world in terms of technology ventures. We have a fund advisory board. It is, uh, uh, you know, Bhaibaras Atluntas, already you know, he is the chairman of WBF. Professor Indrajit Singh, who is the President of Global uh, Startup Investment Promotion Agency. He has agreed to be part of the Fund Advisory Board. Dr. Paul Done, who is the director of WBA Business School. Again, uh, Evid Angel Investor and the former CEO of uh, uh, Turk Telecom, he would be, he has agreed to be part of the Fund Advisory Board. So the Fund Advisory Board will, uh, will be uh, approving and changing the lead investors. They will be allocating the budget for promotion of the fund and they will be sharing their comments about the what uh, about to the executive investment committee and they provide the guidance to the entire process. We will have uh, executive investment committee members. Uh, the 
members will be chosen from the community of investors who are already part of it. There could be minimum of two investors. There could be more uh, as along. Uh, and then there's the administrative cost of the fund that will be covered as a part of the certain activity. But we have kept the cost of the fund extremely low to allow more and more investors to come to the platform. There is a concept of institutional co-investor that uh, if the all money is not given by the fund, we can invite a co-investor to participate. And one thing which we have made it unique, which I think Biobras has just said, that every startup who is raising money and is approved by us has to find a local co-investor because we want the due diligence process to be done by the local investor, not by us, because we may not know the law of the land and a lot of things, but we want somebody to put the money on the table at the local level, and then we will support at the global level. Uh, so there is a investment criteria that we have created. Uh, we will invest in startups with the working MPVs, the minimum viable products, and they must have a track record of approximately 12 months. They should not be at the ideation stage. They should be at a certain stage. If they are already making some money, they have customers, they can be located anywhere in the world. There's no geography is not a criteria. And we are willing to invest in uh, beyond technologies, I would say. Payment system, renewable energy, robotics, security, software, telecommunication, transportation, tourism, virtual reality, wearable technologies, the list goes on. Because when we are representing a global community like WBF, we are looking for a global companies which can make a real change and a difference uh, in the world we live. Uh, so there is an investment strategy that we have uh, given. Uh, typically, we will invest a relatively smaller amount of money from $50,000 to $200,000, depending on the uh, uh, requirement of the company. And we help the companies to grow at certain level. Uh, the fund will invest in 10 or more starters, depending on the total amount of capital committed in 2025. And no more, 10% of the fund will be invested in one company so that we, we leverage and we also hedge our risk across board. So there is a fund investment structure that is already there. Uh, if you wish to know more about fund investment structure, you can go to the website, you can fill a small form and, and if you are approved, if you are aggregated investor, we will send you a document which is quite comprehensive. You can go through it and you, if you have any questions, you can certainly ask us. There are certain uh, subcommittees, like there is a GFRS investor committee, there is a fund investor committee and then due diligence committee. We have qualified uh, company secretary and we have a, our own in, uh, inside legal team, which is a part of the due diligence committee. So we will be, we take up very strongly the due diligence process so that our money is safeguarded. So we look forward welcoming you. This is a photograph of a global fundraising stage in Istanbul in 2020. And you can see Fran who was selected. And uh, recently Biber has mentioned that we have invested in Briagro. Fran is one of the uh, board members of Briagro and he's making the final pitch. And right after the final pitch, we said, yes, this is our guy. We really want to invest in this company. So we look for, uh, forward welcoming you as a part of the WBF investment. And I believe that together we can change the word $1 at a time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, dear uh, Nikhil. Nikhil, uh, what is the exit strategy? So exit can happen between two to five years, Vibras. Uh, it can happen either the second round of the funding. It Exit can happen, there can be a buyout, a management buyout. Exit can happen, there is an IPO. Uh, exit can happen also, there is a, a group of investors coming in and they wish to uh, take over from us. But uh, we want, we are looking for horizon of anything between two to five years uh, because we want to grow the company and make an exit where we have a maximum return. I think, I think it is really a good opportunity for startups to be invested through such kind of a fund because in your structure, in this structure, uh, there are many uh, investors from different regions of the world, which means if a startup venture wants to globalize its business, then it is really something uh, very easy for them by using the network uh, to have access to new markets. And what I witnessed uh, in the Spanish startup, Bia, Bia Agro, 
uh, they really accelerated their globalization process after having this uh, uh, investment from 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 the fund. By the in way, fact, can... I can share my experience with you, Bybrans. Recently, yes. we did an investor conference with Bria Group, and out of the bunch of investors, four investors have shown a deep interest in bringing the technology of Bria Agro from Spain to their respective countries. Now, it, imagine that a company which is right in the Spain, it's extremely expensive for them to expand into the other geography, but just because they are part of the fund, there is a money which has been invested by the investor. Uh, it's like a, a father taking a kid to the stroll or to the park. It's so easy uh, to globalize. The valuation of the company dramatically changes. The business opportunity increases. And certainly the company within uh, weeks and months can become a true global company. What is the size of the fund, by the way? $10 million to start with, but certainly we will go much higher once we have exhausted the first round. We want to see and we want to experiment. Uh, in the future, we want to maybe make a $100 million fund, but that is of now, we will limit it to $10 million. Uh, you announced uh, the link for application for uh, anyone who wants to invest through the fund a few weeks ago. And Christina told me that uh, almost $2.5 million uh, raised uh, from almost 65 uh, investors. I think this is this is really good. By the, by the way, I think this is really a good response to COVID-19, isn't it? I mean, under these pandemic times, uh, <laughs> COVID-19 couldn't destroy our strategies to invest in uh, startups. Uh, Nikhil, thank you very much uh, for your efforts. Unfortunately, Lucy couldn't join uh, today. Let's extend our best wishes to Lucy, the other executive investment committee member. The fund has two executive investment committee members, uh, Nikhil and Lucy. Unfortunately, uh, COVID-19, Mr. COVID couldn't approach the fund, but could achieve a project to her and now she is watching us and she's not able to speak uh, so she couldn't uh, join us today. Uh, Nikhil, I think the next uh, fundraising stage for the uh, for selecting the uh, potential startups is uh, on 25 October uh, as a part of the uh, World Congress of Angel Investors, the second day. Let me share my screen, and if anyone uh, from uh, uh, startups want to join, then they can they can uh, take note down the application. In fact, I will I will strongly encourage all the investors who are listening to us today to uh, because everybody will be having their own portfolio uh, yes. to apply to this uh, fundraising stage. Because if you are startup is selected, it's an opportunity to meet hundreds of entrepreneurs and investors from across the world. I don't know whether they will be winner or not, but that's something which I can guarantee. Three days in Ista in uh, Antalya will definitely, will have a global outlook and their chain, uh, their mindset will change. They will make new friends. So more and more startups applying to us, we will select the 100 best of them, and then you can meet them physically in Antalya. Yes, this is the application link for startups. And any, investor who wants to invest in startups through the funds can also visit this link. This is the link for investors. Uh, and after you visit this link and after you complete the form, then the fund is going to send an uh, acceptance letter to you as an investor for the, for the fund. Uh, thank you very much, uh, dear uh, Nikhil. Uh, I'm sure investors and startups uh, joining to the global fundraising stage will find a rewarding as experience uh, in engaging with the fund's activities. And by the way, thank you very much for your efforts. You are not only the executive committee member, but you are also one of the investors like me, like the others uh, of the fund. This is giving a confidence to me to tell you the truth because you are also putting money and if something wrong happens, then you are, you are also <laughs> at the same <laughs> risky area uh, like us. Thank you very much. And uh, let's give the floor back to uh, dear uh, Christopher. Christopher, floor, uh, floor is yours. Uh, 